If you look at any nice, you know, it predates Kubernetes and it has been helping users embrace uh, cloud native technologies for almost eight or nine years now. So Julian, uh, can you talk a bit about the fact that as the adoption of cloud native has increased, what unique challenges you face now as compared to earlier days when these technologies were relatively new and they were embraced by companies who were tech savvy early adopters who were kind of willing to take risks that came with any new technology? Well, in the beginning, as you said, there were the early adopters. In those times, um, all the technologies were already, well, let's say, interesting and uh, people were engaging with those technologies such as Cloud Foundry and Bosch. In those times, we've already helped many clients to um, build their application development platforms. Uh, so over the last five, six years, many of these platforms have grown into large, substantial platforms where there's often thousands of virtual machines. Uh, Along that journey, these technologies have made sure. It. So Cloud Foundry and, and Bosch, for example, they have been uh, rock solid companions, so to say. Now, in, in this entire technological digital transformation, let's say there are always um, individual technologies uprising and some are, well, let's say losing popularity to some degree. So there are technological shifts happening while the overall challenge remains the same. So if you, for example, compare 2015 with 2020, uh, both um, in both years, the establishing um, application development platforms is what most large corporates now will have to do in order to get their IT departments up to speed. In um, with these technological changes, they also come with challenges. 